Hey, how you doing today? I'm here to talk about header and gasket issues. My headers that I picked up for this van are actually vehicle specific. They're made for this van. But the engine that I have in the van is not the original to the van. So uh, the problem I'm having is the ports on my heads is actually square. Originally they were round. So these header specific headers have round port instead of the square port that match up to my head. So I bought a set of these copper gaskets. These are really good quality copper gaskets. If you want to make your life easier when installing headers, long tubes or, or even short tubes, spend the extra money and get good quality gaskets. I prefer copper. I prefer copper. Okay, these are made by a company called Max. And there are many different copper gasket companies out there, so you know, buy whatever one you want. Uh, but just make sure that they're good quality, thick, and have a nice big ceiling ring. If you've seen my other video, you'll notice the other gaskets, and these are also very expensive gaskets. But they came with a very skinny ceiling ring. This is just to show you what I'm talking about. Here we go. These are LS platform copper gaskets. I paid 40 bucks for these things. All gaskets, even though they're expensive, are not created equal. I put these on my 2002 Chevy Corvette and I, I sprung leaks. If you watch my other videos, I go into details about it, but you can still see the remnants of the uh, exhaust leak here, that little black portion there. A little black portion there but you can see that the the diameter of the ceiling ring see how much larger it is on this gasket as opposed to this gasket there's quite a bit of difference there the bigger the better this small ceiling ring as I explained in, in the other video uh, there's a slight slight a bit, bit of play with these gaskets, they move around just a little bit because the, uh, the exhaust bolt actually moves. The hole isn't as tight as it could be, see? And it was enough to cause it to, to fail here and here. But with these thicker sealing O-rings, you're not gonna have that issue. At least I haven't had it as of yet. Now getting back to my van issue. Okay, like I said, these are specific for this Chevrolet G-Van. And as you can see, these gaskets fit perfect on these headers. And another nice thing about these headers is they have this notch out right here. So you put the bolt in, front bolt, uh, the front bolt and the back bolt and then you can just slip this gasket right between the head and the header it makes it so much easier but in case you're wondering and if you run into this issue these uh, uh you know, if you buy a set of headers that are round round uh, tubed headers and you buy yourself a uh you, you have a van or another vehicle with square port heads in case you're wondering whether or not they're going to work with round port headers. Uh, I haven't started this thing up yet. I have got the other side on, which I'll show you in a moment. But they will work. Round port headers will work with square port heads, which is kind of weird because you always learn from grade school round peg square hole you know doesn't work but because the back side of this gasket is nice and flat 
and the ceiling surface is quite quite a bit thick. It's probably about a, you know, at least a quarter inch thick. It's going to set right up against this backside of the gasket. Very nicely. Very nicely. Now, I already got this side in, and these are uh, Headman headers. For the G-Vans, for some reason, they don't have a lot of uh, options. The Headmans actually have kind of a skinny little flange. As you can see, it's a little on the skinny side. But, got the, got the copper in there. Kind of hard to see, but there it is. And these gaskets uh, actually came with some nice set of uh, lock washers as well. Right there. But anyway, just a quick video to show you that, that yes, you can use round port gaskets with square flange heads. Or square, square port heads. Anyway, I hope this video helped you out. Uh, oh, one other thing I wanted to show you. Which is pretty nice. If you uh, look at your, your ports, and do a caliper test on them, See how wide the port is. That's the exact size. And then come over to your head. As you can see, sorry about the blurriness, but uh, what are you going to do? Okay, so. As you can see, the, the head is actually a smaller port than, than the uh, header. Even if you go from corner to corner, see, it, it still will not go in. Which is good. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. Thanks again, and uh, remember, if you like the video or learned something about it, uh, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And uh, maybe even if you wanted to, subscribe if you're interested in auto mechanics or guns or whatever. Yeah, I just put these pop-out windows in. These This van didn't have any windows on it. Well, it had windows, but they were not pop-out, and I wanted pop-out, so I picked those up at the junkyard for 60 bucks, along with the gaskets and installed them and they work great. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Have a good day.